Hey guys, Lucky HD here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we have a new update to Tales of Tenorio, pushing some new auras, as well as fixing some stuff that the community was complaining about. In this video, we're going to be talking about all of that and more. If you guys do enjoy this video, go down there, like, subscribe, and let's get straight into it. Alrighty, so if you're not already inside of the Discord, I definitely recommend that you, of course, go and join it, because this is where a lot of this stuff gets posted, and you can obviously, you know, be the first to know anytime any of this new information comes out. However, first things first, we did a bunch of polls recently basically just kind of asking for feedback about this update asking for you know what features you liked what features you didn't like what features you'd like to see more of and all of that stuff so if you'd like to obviously go give your input on that make sure to go inside of the discord into the poll section and go cast your vote there also with this we have a new mount madness event going on not obviously like a traditional event but it is basically a little campaign from now until the end of august basically during certain like like milestones and all that stuff we are going to be adding new mounts inside of the game and these mounts are going to be free for all players and the way you'll obviously obtain them is going to be through ruptures so this is going to be the first little like rupture mount based kind of reward system and obviously at 36k likes we're going to be getting dual ram chirift and shirodo 38k cosmic Korapunk, and scarachnid 40k likes blimper marmal and expersica 45k likes magistrate nihilich and slatrap and then at 50k likes we're going to be getting flat wither and mall Lurk mount. So obviously all of this stuff is pretty pretty exciting and again like I said this is going to be throughout the entire just you know couple months up until the end of August so hey if you obviously want to see this make sure to hit the like button on the Tales of Tenorio official game. Now let's go ahead and talk about the new patch notes including some stuff obviously from the feedback that we got recently. So the patch note says particle slash beams are now hidden during battles so obviously if you were inside of a battle you might have seen yesterday all of the alpha V effects that was around everywhere that should finally be fixed now he also says fixed positions with some of the auras basically some of the auras that were kind of clipping into the ground are now fixed fixed various issues with auras fixed various issues with hallusion buffed the purple aura chance for quest line so yes you know everybody was complaining about this yesterday obviously i mean if you even look at the polling and all that stuff not a lot of people uh kind of liked it you know what i mean so we went ahead and actually changed this so now it is a lot easier easier to actually get the infected aura oh my god i just found an alpha illusion while recording this video i'm trying to go for the shiny whatever oh, i'm gonna run from it Oh, that hurts. Anyways, I'm pretty sure how it works now is essentially after you start the quest, your next alpha will have, I think it's like a 50% or over a 50% chance of being the infected Tenorian. So obviously, again, it just helps out a ton with actually getting the quest done and all that stuff. You still actually need to find the alpha Tenorian, but now the actual rates for it are a lot easier. Also with this, there have been some changes to a past aura. If you have found this aura right here that kind of had this weird like spinning wheel or whatever is on it this has actually now been changed to what is up on screen right now and actually is eligible to be submitted for the quest so now there are two purple auras that you can find out inside of the wild that both will contribute to the quest and again if you have any of this type of aura right here that you caught from yesterday go check your thing inside of a new server because it should be changed and you will actually be able to use the again the same one that you had yesterday for the quest. And there were also five new auras added to the game today with this patch and this entire push. And I'll put all of those up on screen. We got some pretty cool new ones like some fire, watery, and more sparkly kind of ones. Again, really, really cool stuff right there. So yeah, if you're watching this video after May 14th, then it should be fine on all of the new servers. Today though, on May 14th, we're probably going to be doing a server shutdown just to make sure that all of this stuff gets ported into the new servers. But yeah guys, let me know your thoughts obviously down in the comments below. Do you like these new changes me personally i think you know it's better for the community and all that stuff and i think people will enjoy it a lot more but again let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next video peace